everyone, friends, this is Janet from Photography Makes, and today is Sunday, and you know what that means, it's Shaker Sunday, um, hosted by Kathy's Favorite Things, and today I'm going to be using Scrap Diva Designs and her little shaker spider. So these are the small ones, and I'm going to be making the large ones. So here they are. I've already cut out all my pieces, so um, I am using um, five millimeter fun foam i'm using this purple solid purple paper here i'm going to be using this sparkle foam that's really thin and it's even squishier or even thinner now that i've ran it through my machine and then i have some transparencies for my acetate so i'm just going to show you how i'm going to assemble these they're probably going to be really quick oh and i guess i should mention i'm going to be filling these with some sparkling ghoul um, sequin mixes that I actually grabbed last year, but I'm going to be using this year. <laughs> so, all right, let's get started. So I'm going to take my base here and I'm going to glue, um, I'm going to glue my legs. I was going to say, I'm going to glue, um, my fun foam piece. So I could probably be gluing it on here, but I'll glue around the body and then everything else I can glue right on my paper here. Okay, and I'm going to line this up as best as I can. Alright, so I'm excited to join in on this Shaker Sunday. I haven't done one yet, and I've really been into shakers now that I know, um, I guess, one of the easier methods to making them. So I'm going to put this block on top of there while I'm talking. And, um, yeah, so <laughs> I thought I would share. I know um, a lot of people have been doing tutorials on how to make um, shakers so that's great you know the more you can watch and learn the better right so I thought I'd come on and share too but I um, hope everybody's weekend is going well it's it's a fun Labor Day weekend it's right before school starts I'm sure there's a lot of excitement in the air at least there always has been for me um, I've always loved September I've always looked forward to going back to school Okay, I'm probably one of the very few kids that did, but that's okay. <laughs> um, okay. All right, there's the second one. I'm making two because uh, I thought that would be fun. So there's the second. All right, now while that's gluing, I'm going to adhere my transparency to the top piece so this is my fun foam so this is where i'm going to decide if i'm going to uh, which glue to use okay so i really want to i'm going to use my nuva glue i think that'll be okay it should set pretty fast so I'm going to glue this piece. And this will be um, the top of my spider. So obviously you can do these in any color combination you want. Any kind of paper. I think any, any of that will do. I know you can't see this, so I apologize. But we're going to place this right on top of the transparency. I'm going to move this piece out of the way. Boop. And we'll put this spider, once I get him lined up perfectly here, I know you probably can't tell, but he's a little off kilter. All right, let's squish this one. Woo! These are great. Okay, there's the second. And then we're going to fill them up and they'll be ready to go. We can embellish them additionally if we choose to. Um, I didn't think that far ahead, to be honest. 
but I bet you they'd be cute with like little paper bows or even plastic bows if you have them in the right colors. Okay. I don't think I have anything black. I'm trying to think of what's in my stash right now. I don't think I have any black bows in my stash. I think black would be cute because I think my mix has the mix that I'm using. Where did I put it? It has um, pinks. Is this the one I'm using? Oh, I thought I would have sworn I had another one, but maybe that's what I have. Oh, well, here's, here's another one. I have this one that has pink, purple, black, and some silver in it. And then I have this one that has mint, pink, stripes, black, purple. I'm probably going to end up using this one. Although I really like this, this green one, too. Okay, these are going to have to wait a minute. All right, so while those are waiting, let's fill up our let's fill up our shaker. I'm probably going to be using this poster foam board stuff for adhering this piece to that piece. But let's fill up the shaker bits. Okay. So I just recently got this little handmade bowl here. So I'm just going to use this in a little spoon. Whoa. See what we can put in there. Oh, I don't think that's going to shake. That's just going to be a full spider. So let's scoop some of this out of here. Uh, I want to take more of the pink, the big pink pieces out. I don't know if these balls will fit, will they? They might. Let's leave them in there. Let's uh, well, let's take that one out. She's got small and medium sized. Comparative. And we'll add one more. What a pretty mix. I love her mixes. If you don't know who she is, she's on Instagram. Do a second. I like the the striped sequence she has too. Okay. I think that looks okay. I hope that's enough. All right, let's see what these look like. <laughs> Got some glue left over. So, okay. We are gonna simply place these on top. We're gonna glue and place these right on the top. Just like that. Let's get this guy out of the way. He's gonna be on top of that one. I'm gonna move this for now. All right, ready? I hope this is, I hope this is ready because sometimes this glue bottle dries up on me, which it looks like, did it? No, it looks like it's got a glue bead, so. Nope, let's pick it. Oh, oh no, okay. Hold on, I got a wet wipe available, okay. This is what I'm gonna use, is this poster board glue, and I hope this is a good choice. It's not my favorite of the glues, but it seems to bond really well. It's just a little bit on the stinky side. It's a bit stringy, like hot glue. I don't know why. Oh, I shouldn't have probably crossed it. Looks, it looks like spider webs. <laughs> Let me just take that piece out. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna stick this right to the top and hope for the best. Line this up as best as I can here. And these dies honestly cut so well. Just like it was one pass through my machine for all of them, all the pieces. There we go. So let's uh I'm just going to pinch this down. Hope that stays. All right, let's do the second one here. Make sure our sequins are in there. Okay, whoa, look at this bubble. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, hold on a second. Let's, we're going to, we need to start over. Okay. This glue is crazy. If you guys have a suggestion on what kind of glue you guys like using, I want to know. Because this one's, this one's a little crazy. 
This bottle's a little old too, so maybe that's my problem. Maybe I just need a new bottle of this stuff. I get this from Dollar Tree. I'm sure they sell it in bigger bottles elsewhere. Um, but that seems to be where I find it. Okay, I'm going to cap it real quick. Whew. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, ready? I'll lay this piece down. Okay, so I'm going to let this one set. I'm going to move this one and let this one set. I think I got everybody in a good spot. Okay, we're going to squish it. All right, in the meantime, let's check this one out. Let's get my little tool here. Oh yeah, he's still, he's still drying. While he's drying, we're going to clean this up a little bit. I got a little bit of seepage. I don't want I don't want that. Okay, I'm just checking for our edges to be clean. Yeah. I would say that is okay. Let's get rid of this little spider web. Oh, got another little, little more. So I would I'm gonna I'm gonna put these under a book or something and let them dry overnight. Oh this little piece is driving me nuts. Can you see? I don't know if you guys can see that. Because it is clear. See how it's gummy? Okay. There we go. Perfect. So there you have it. That's what the back looks like. This is what our front looks like. Look how cute. I'd probably pick maybe smaller sequins. I think these got uh, ended up getting stuck on the glue somehow. That's a bummer. But the rest of the pieces shake, so that's cool. And that's fine. They're shakers. <laughs> so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!